Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to the first official spooky video of the year. I'm so glad that you're here. Welcome to my bedroom floor. I have a plethora of spooky giftables down here for you. Um, I have done Boo Basket videos in the past. I will try to make sure I link um, my playlist or the video in the little card above or over here. I can never remember which side it's on <laughs> um, if you want to go back to years previous. But this year is going to be a little bit extra special. So not only am I going to share with you guys my daughter's boo baskets, but I'm also going to share with you guys um, my husband's boo basket, my mom's boo basket, and then I also got the girls' teacher's boo baskets. So if you have a special partner in your life, a significant other, if you're sharing with your family, or you just want to cheer up someone in your life, if you've got teachers that you want to just show appreciation to, I have got ideas for you. I normally always do the girls and their teachers, but this year I'm adding my husband and my mom into the mix. If you guys are on TikTok or Instagram, there was m there were multiple reels and TikToks going around about uh, partners sharing boot baskets with each other this year and the husbands and boyfriends going shopping for the items and stuff like that. And I just thought it was so cute and so much fun. So I wanted, I wanted, I wanted to include my husband and um, in it as well and he's also going to give me boo basket this year So we're gonna have a little fun gift exchange to kind of look forward to the fall season Which we're both really excited about as well, but first and foremost I'm gonna share with you the girls and then I will move on to the rest of the adults if you've never seen me before Hello, my name is Sarah and I have two girls. My oldest is Olive and she will be nine in November and my youngest is Eleanor and she will be six, no, oh, she'll be seven in March. The years are flying, they're flying so fast. Um, that is the most cliche thing, but it is the truth. Anyway, so this video, they are gonna have more kind of like older kids slash tweenish kind of little items in their gift baskets or the boo baskets. But there are so many different ideas and stuff that you can search on Pinterest and on TikTok. And again, like I have some from years past. The baskets that they will be having this year, they have been using these for ever since I think I started giving them boo buckets. These are just from Target. I still love these and I'm actually giving this one to my mom this year, so I'm still using them. But I saw these bad boys on TikTok and I knew I had to have them. I saw them only one time. I think it was at the very beginning of August, maybe end of July and then I never saw them again. So I'm so glad I decided to be bite the bullet right then and get them, otherwise I wouldn't have had a chance. Um, they came in this little cute pinky purpley lavendery cat, and then they also came in this adorable little black bat, and then they also had orange jack-o'-lanterns, but I only got the bat and the um, cat and they were $5 from Target. And they even came with a little flag that said you've been booed. So if you can get your hands on these, I absolutely would recommend it. I think they're really, really cute and they're so fun. So both of the girls will have these little baskets and inside of them are, some things are the same and some things are different and they're kind of all over the place to be totally honest with you. And they're not all Halloween themed. Um, I was going for all of Halloween themed and then things kind of changed on me and I just got them things that would make them happy and little things that they'd enjoy throughout the rest of the year. So I will share some Halloween items but there are some fun things that aren't necessarily Halloween themed. All right, I'm just gonna start with each kid because like I said, each little basket is different. Um, I got this little Zach Halloween um, cup from Target Dollar Spot. These are only $3. Um, we've gotten these in the past and the girls really like them. I actually think I got them for Valentine's Day last year. Um, they may be getting a little too old for these, but I don't care, they're super cute. I would use one. And this one says Booyah and it's glow in the dark and I just thought it was really cute and very much like Eleanor. Um, like I said, Eleanor is six going on on seven and she is super super funny always making me laugh she loves wild colors and patterns and bright things and to express herself in all of the fun of life but she's also very sweet and gentle and calm and um 
So she also really likes to accessorize and dress up and glam herself up. So a lot of her little gifty items are along that kind of line. Um, she is obsessed with fake nails. She loves doing them. So I got two packets of these acrylic nails, press on nails from um, Walmart. They were only $2.98. I got this really cute one that's like mint. I don't know if you're gonna see that. It's like mint and um, little pumpkins and ghosts and spider webs and this is called this one's too cute to spook and then this one is just a little bit uh, just a little baddie and this had bats and spiders and webs and it was pink and silver and i just thought these were really cute especially for the inexpensive price and eleanor will love these she's been dying to put some fake nails back on so i got two packs of those for her those were both at walmart in the Halloween section. And then also at Walmart, I picked up just this little set of hair clips. We use hair clips every single day. The girls love them. Um, I love to come up with different hairstyle ideas with Eleanor. I feel like, I don't know if any of you guys ever were big Lizzie McGuire fans, but I like feel like every single day I'm doing her hair like Miranda. <laughs> I'm just coming up with new crazy and like fun twists and things to do with it and so I think adding more and more clips to our collection is never a bad thing. These are so inexpensive. I love the Wonder Nation clips at Walmart. This was like two something and you got these, you got six different clips and they're all really nice quality. They all really last really well. I get Wonder Nation clips all the time and I just love these. I thought they were adorable. So perfect little thing to go in her bag or her basket I should say. On the same thing of hair clips, I also picked up this Wild Fable uh, claw clip from Target. It was originally $5, but it was on clearance for $3.50. And um, I just thought it was really cute. I liked the colors, but more importantly, I love this little charm. It has like a little smiley face and then a little star. And this just looks so much like Eleanor. And I just thought this was really, really cute. And again, I want these things to be fun and some things be spooky and Halloween-y, but I also want them to be practical and be used. So I think it's fun to add things that not necessarily Scream Halloween, but they're just fun to get. Now, on the topic of Halloween hair clips, I got this really cute ghost hair clip from Timu, I believe, and it is just so gosh darn cute. I love him, so I got him for Eleanor, and so at least there's one Halloween themed hair item in there. Um, and then I also picked her up a pair of socks. I think her and Ollie both got matching ones, but these were from uh, Target Dollar Spot for I think just a dollar. Yeah, just a little dollar. Some little Halloween sockies. I then I also picked her up these pair of earrings um, that were Halloween themed, and they're little ghosts, and they're like little acrylic iridescent kind of ghosts with little hearts. And I just thought that they were so cute. They make me so happy. And they're fun and still like spooky, but they're a little bit more girly and fun colors. So um, I loved them. So I got this pair for her. The girls have been really wanting to eat with chopsticks and we had a pack um, from Daiso, but I can't find the other one and they're really old. So I picked up this pair of training chopsticks um, also from Daiso, but sometimes the girls have a hard time with this little plastic little guy. So instead, <laughs> I got the cute little little silicone gripper that goes on the top and basically just makes them really, really easy to pinch and use. But I thought it'd be fun. They've been really wanting to use chopsticks and although these aren't necessarily Halloween themed, they're still kind of fun to add to their basket. I love shopping at Daiso. I think it's so much fun to find like unique goodies that obviously are not things that we can easily get our hands on here in the States. Um, and they're just so much fun and so cute. So the next thing I picked up was this really cute little like zip up makeup bag um, but or storage little bag that she could store her pencils or pens in but currently I got them a bunch of different Halloween stickers. They are in a major sticker phase right now and they've been collecting stickers and it's so funny because I remember going through that same like phase. If you guys were like millennials and like 90s kids they used to have in like the grocery stores which I think some places still, still have them but you would put Put, I think 50 cents some were like 75 some were a dollar but they'd have like these big holographic stickle stickles stickers that would say like angel or cutie or there'd be like big smiley faces and like they were all the rage to have those stickers on your folders and binders and looking back at it as it looking back at it as an adult I am by the way guys if I'm low energy and fumbling all over my words I'm sick right now I have strep throat 
just out of nowhere. No idea where I got it. I am the most homebody out of every other member of my family and got strep throat. Don't know anybody else who has it right now. It is what it is. Anyway, so I'm like blah, 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 all over the place. All I have to say is that um, it's so funny looking back as an adult to like the sticker craze and feeling like, oh my gosh, I have to have this sticker from Kroger. That like how funny that was. But anyway, the girls are in one of those phases too. So um, I get all my stickers off of Amazon, Timu, um, Etsy. They're really inexpensive. They're really cute. So we have some fun like Monster High stickers, which the girls are really into, which I think you guys know about because that was like a big thing last year. I also got some really cute just like fall themed stickers and Halloween themed stickers that I just thought were really adorable um, and made me happy some nightmare before Christmas anyway so this just goes in here but they've just been needing a better way to collect their stickers and hold on to them so I got this little pouch for Eleanor but when I was at Daiso which you guys both know my girls are obsessed with Sanrio and so of course Daiso has tons of Sanrio options for super inexpensive and if you shop Sanrio normally, the brand is really crazy expensive here in the States. So being able to get your hand on some like Hello Kitty and Sanrio themed uh, items for cheap is such a bargain. Anyway, I found this cute little like clear bag that has my Melody on one side and Karomi on the other side. And I know that they're going to love it. So they can use whatever, whichever, whichever one she wants. But... They're really into collecting things and storage and I don't know. I think this is such like a normal phase to go through as a kid, but she's got two bags. <laughs> and then um, I got her, last but not least, oh, one more thing. Hold up. And then I got her this really cute Karomi keychain. She loves collecting keychains and putting them on her backpack. And this one was just too gosh darn cute. She loves Karomi, that's her favorite. Um, and it's my favorite too. I love Chromey. So she's really, really soft. I think I got her from either Amazon or Timu. I can't remember, but I'm just going to have her dangling on the side of her basket. And then, like we already discussed, she loves a good manicure. So she has her fake nails, but I also picked up these three different um, LA Colors nail polishes. These are all from the Unicorn Sparkle line. So I have this really pretty iridescent one called Sugar Snowflake. And then this really pretty like multi-dimensional duochrome one called Sweet Enchantment. And then this one is like straight on holographic metallic silver um, called Crushed Diamond. So not totally un halloween -y, but not technically halloween -y. But I still think that they'll be fun and I know she's going to love them because she loves all things nail polish and manicures and pedicures. I did get her two treats. Um, they're about to get a bunch of candy and treats for Halloween and trick-or-treating, so I don't think I needed to go crazy, but I did get them two things. Eleanor loves Peeps, so I got her these Frankenstein, look how cute he is, these Frankenstein Peeps from Target, and then I got her a halloween theme nerd's rope. It's not cute right now, but this is how it's going to look. <laughs> oh, last but not least, um, I normally always get the girls Halloween themed clothes. We have enough that they get to wear one every single day for the whole month of October to school, which I know is absolutely ridiculous, but it's so much fun and it's like counting down the days to Halloween. Um, and Olive is like kind of growing out of it and doesn't want to do it anymore and it's like breaking my heart, but I'm trying to let her be independent. Um, but Eleanor's still very much in it. So I found this really cute little spooky vibes. Um, outfit set from Sam's for like $13. Um, it's only it's only a 4T, but these things run ginormous. So I just thought it was really cute, very much Ellie. I know that she's really gonna ha love it and feel super festive in it. So this is going to also go with her little basket. And that is all for Eleanor. All right, now we're moving on to Ollie. And like I said, she is about to be nine. She's my oldest. Um, and same basket. There are some things over here that are currently missing. The issue with collecting stuff so early is that you lose track of items. So I don't know where some of her stuff is right now. I will find it when I can, but I will share with you what I have right here, but this is not all of it. She is also getting um, a little Zach cup. This is wickedly cute. Um, and this one was also the same thing from Target. I just thought this was cute and like Olive. And then she is also getting the same pair of Halloween socks. Now, she has been really wanting to collect multiple little baggies because she was wa <laughs> she's been watching like 
the pack your bag with me videos on her like YouTube kids and stuff and they're like Sanrio themed and she's like loving it. And she's like, it'd be just a dream to have all those organizers. And so they're all from Daiso. So I took a little venture down to Daiso and that's what I got her, a bunch of different cute little baggies. So first things first, this is actually one that I got um, because it's one cats. And if you know anything about Ollie, she's obsessed with cats. But on top of that, it is Taylor Swift, Karma. And so I originally got this one for her so she could keep all of her stickers in it because she, again, collects a ton of stickers. Um, and all of hers are Halloween themed as well. I do have quite a bit of Taylor Swift ones that I'm actually gonna throw in here as well. Um, and then she has Halloween, these little cuties. Anyway, I do have some Taylor Swift ones that I'm also, I have way too many that I just, I, I don't need that many <laughs> that I'm gonna put in each of their bags as well. So that is her sticker pack. But then I also am giving her three different <laughs> Sanrio ones. So we have the My Melody Karomi one that Eleanor is getting. We also have this My Melody Karomi um, little like longer elongated rectangular one also from Daiso. And then we have this really cute cinnamon roll one. He's so adorable and she's going to love this one. And I don't know what she's going to keep in here, but she's she has got plenty of organizers now for all of her packing her bag needs. <laughs> Next, I found this really adorable Squishmallow um, little journal. She loves, been, she's been loving to journal and have little notebooks lately. Um, and this was actually in the Walmart like Halloween area. It was only $3.98 and it's just really cute. So they had a bunch of different patterns, but it was a cat, it's Halloween, it was perfect. So she has that. She also has her own little set of chopsticks. They're just pink, and then her little topper is a little bunny, whereas Eleanor's is a little bear. So those are their her little chopsticks. Um, she has this hair clip, which is twin stars, um, Sanrio themed, from Daiso instead of the cute little ghosty, but I thought this one was still really, really cute. And then she also has this pack of clips from Wonder Nation from Walmart. Um, they just, they ended up sharing all their clips anyway, so it really doesn't matter who gets them because they all end up borrowing them and sharing them anyway, but this is really, really cute set. Um, like I said, two dollars and some odd cents for six clips. Then I also picked up this little My Melody. I think it's supposed to be a bracelet, but it's kind of a scrunchie at the same time, but she loves wearing like little itty bitty bracelets on her wrist. It was just a little cheapy My Melody little scrunchy bracelet thing, but this is totally Ollie and I think she's really gonna like him. This was from like Timu for like 50 cents or something, it's really inexpensive, but I know that she'll enjoy it. And then I also got her a pack of earrings instead of the claw clip that I got Eleanor. These were also from Wild Fable from Target and they were on clearance for $2.40. They were originally $8, which I would have never paid that much money for these little earrings, but you know what? $2.40 I would, and I just thought that they were cute. Very Ollie. So that pack is going in there with her. And then for her fun Halloween themed earrings, I also got her some iridescent ghosts. Her are more, hers are more on like the blue side, um, but hold on, they don't want to open. Um, but they're still so cute and they're little flower ghosts. So Ollie. Sorry if you can hear my miniature pincher outside. He's uh, on security patrol. Little dog syndrome, you know? At Daiso, I picked up just this inexpensive little sketchbook. If she is not journaling, she is sketching and drawing. Um, and this is just a bunch of like blank sketch paper that I thought that she would enjoy. I know she will get use out of. So a little sketch pad. She has been really, really into sending her best friend letters. She loves writing letters and drawing and sending them in the mail and or dropping them in her mailbox because she lives literally right down the road. So um, Daiso has a bunch of stationary um, it's really cute and really inexpensive, so I found three different things. These letter sets are so pretty, and so I got this pack that had these like pastel little stars all over, and then this pack of little kitty cats, which are so cute and precious. I loved them. And then the small little itty bitty one, little kitty cats. So gosh darn cute, and I know she's gonna freak. 
because she's been super into stationery and scrapbooking and like the most she's just the most crafty kid and it's so funny because I'm not very crafty at all but she's like always into that stuff and then I got this little cup that is my melody because she's big on having a little water cup by her bed and so I just thought this was so cute and that as of right now is all for Ollie oh we got some she loves sour candy so I got her some Haribo sour vampire bats which I don't think she's ever tried so we're gonna give them a go and hopefully she likes them and when I find the other stuff if I find the other stuff, hopefully, I will let you know. All right, so moving on to the adults. I know that the kids aren't entirely 100% Halloween themed, um, or even fall themed for that matter, but I know that there are things that they're going to enjoy and get some use out of, and so that's the thing. It's kind of a trade-off for me is, like, I want to be, you know, in the spirit and be festive, but at the same time, I want to be practical. So hopefully I give you some ideas, even if they aren't completely on theme and I kind of failed, but that's okay. Moving on to the adults, I'm going to share with you guys my mom's first. My mom's aren't technically, like, mom-themed or anything. These would be good for a vast variety of people. Like I said, we use uh, re reuse these old little buckets that I think you can still get from Target. They're only a dollar and they've lasted for years. So she's getting that and then I'm giving her a throw because what's a boot bucket or a full basket without a good cozy throw. These are the ones from Hide and Eat Boutique from Target. It's just really cute little ghosties all over it. They're only $10. They're super super nice and cozy and large. I love their throws from Target. I get them all the time. They're so cute. So I got one of those for her. I also picked her up a mug. This one was from Home Goods. It was only $4.99. And I just thought it was so cute. It's really, really large. It's orange on the inside. It's just adorable. I love the little kitty cat sitting on the broom. And inside of it, there is a hand cream. My mom is all about the hand cream. And we love the Beloved line here. Um, and this is the coffee bean and oat milk latte. It smells delicious. Um, hopefully she likes it. But they have a bunch of different fall scents this year. Um, so I got her one of those. And then I got her a Butterfinger skull because Butterfingers are fantastic and it's festive. So I had to get it for her. And then I also picked her up a package of Candy Corn Crunch Trail Mix. She loves trail mix and she loves candy corn and peanuts together. And it's honey roasted peanuts, candy corn, raisins, and white chocolate pretzel balls. And that sounds like something she'd really, really enjoy. So I got her this. This was from Target. And then last but not least, oh no, I also have something else. I have this little candle from Target as well. It was only $5. Um, they do come in a variety of sizes and the price obviously goes up. And they do also come in different scents. And based on the scent, the like color of the pumpkin changes. But for $5, I thought this was so nice. It's a nice little glass pumpkin. The smell is so good. I don't know what the smell is called because the label's gone. But it smells so gosh darn good. It smells something like something she'd really like. And I just think after she uses it, like it's still such a cute little decoration. You can put a little tea candle in there, um, or a little tea light. I just think it was adorable. So I got her one of those. And then this one's kind of a joke because I don't think she actually likes dots. I love dots. But I grew up eating like dots and Tootsie Rolls and Tootsie Pops and all of that candy, which I know is very controversial because a lot of people do not like that type of candy. Um, and that brand in general, but that was what my dad used to love and he would buy it like every Halloween because he wanted some of the candy And so now that he's passed It's just nice to like enjoy his treats from time to time that he really liked and he loved dots and I love dots But I don't know anybody else who likes dots. I don't think my mom likes them either But I just thought they're little ghosts and you don't know what they taste like. It's all like a little mystery But I just how cute is that? Um, and I don't know she may not enjoy them, but I think she'll enjoy the fact that it reminds her of my dad. So I got her that, and that is her little boo bucket. Just something to get her in the festive spirit and include her as well. So for Jazz, um, he has the little bat bucket. Um, I also got him a little cozy outfit, but it is not in yet. It was supposed to be delivered yesterday, but it is running late, so... Goes to show you not to wait to the last minute on that one, but he will have a cozy little outfit to wear. Um, and I also got him a pack of socks because 
I love getting socks. People say not to give socks. Socks are fun. Socks are useful and they can be so cute now. They have so many different socks. So I got these ghost face socks from Walmart. So perfectly on theme. We love ghost face and scream and he gets a bunch of new socks to wear for work. So I just thought these were really cute. They were under $10. Here are the all the different patterns. And these are also on Amazon for like way more money. So definitely buy them from Walmart if you can. Um, excuse me, they were in store and I think online and they were only like nine something. So whole pack of socks. Like I said, his little sweat outfit. And then I, he's losing chargers like nobody's business and I need my chargers back. So um, I bought him a pack of chargers. <laughs> his things are so practical, but I bought him a pack of chargers. And then I bought him the <laughs> face wash. And I also bought him a body wash, um, but this is the Cremo body wash in vintage suede. We haven't tried this brand before, but it smells so good. We were gonna pick it up last time and then went with something different, but the bottle just looks pretty. Like this just looks like a nice fall boo bucket item, right? It just looks so pretty. This one smells really, really good. I blind bought this and I think I meant to get a different one that I'd smelled previously, but this one smells like a freaking fancy, like rich, manly um like study with a leather sofa i don't know man it smells fantastic um but if he doesn't like the scent we can try something different but just man doesn't that just it looks so like i don't know who anyway um i also picked him up this reese's pumpkin these are arguably so much better than regular Reese's cups. I think the Reese's like shaped candies are so much better than regular Reese's. So I got him a king size pack of Reese's pumpkins. And then this is gonna be like a randomly weird item, but um, I think I've talked to you guys about this before. He loves tweezers and I buy him new tweezers all the time. Um, his medication makes him like pick and not that i want him to pick but he like plucks his this is so way too much information anyway he likes to he likes tweezers anyway so i found this set of little mini tweezers i died when i saw this my best friend had it at her house and i was like where did you get them i have to get them so it's more of like a little gag gift but they're a little mini baby tweezers like isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen is this like ridiculous absolutely but it's a pack of four and I just lost it. Like I couldn't, I had to get him this. So I got him a pack of tweezers. And then um, he loves coffee and he likes his instant Folgers coffee. When the pandemic came out and everyone was making the like, um, the fold, they took the Folgers instant coffee and they were using the little aerator. What, were, what was that called? I can't remember. That's where we discovered the Folgers instant coffee and he's never looked back. He's addicted. He's a complete addict to it. Anyway, so I got him, he mixes it in little cups and we're always out, always needing more. So I got him two of these. This is such a niche gift. I got him two of these from Target. They're like 50 cents. Um, I got him a festive Halloween mug from Home Goods for $4.99. It's massive. It's microwavable and dishwasher safe, which is our must for him. And it has to be big. So I just thought this was cute little jack-o'-lanterns on it it's nice and big i think it's like stoneware on the bottom um or it's like a ceramic but it's not like glossy on the bottom i don't know i don't know how to describe it anyway it's cute <laughs> and then i also picked him up a tumbler last minute because one of his other tumblers is getting yucky and i didn't realize that so this was a last minute item because this isn't normally the brand that i would go with normally we choose bottle bottle which is my all-time fave but uh we have this we have cho chosen this brand before and he has a water like cup that he uses from them a lot um i just don't think they keep things as hot and cold but whatever it is what it is it's still a nice cup and it was inexpensive <laughs> but um i got him this so he can take his coffee with him to go when he needs to do that um i also got him a giant pack of welch's fruit snacks because I was shopping at like 2 a.m. and it sounded really good to me too and I said they're on sale this is what you're getting <laughs> so I can have a couple packs anyway um, last but not least I feel like this is like the most unhinged 
boo bucket, but this is reality. This is reality when I am strep throated and feeling like garbaggio and my mind is off. Um, so I went to the booze store and obviously drink responsibly friends, but I had to pick him up some Fireball, which is just one of the all-time faves, and then one of our other all-time faves, which is Brother Bond, Brothers Bond Bourbon, which is um, from Vampire Diaries. If you were a fan, Stefan and Damon, or Paul Wesley and Ian Summerhalder came out with their own bourbon, and we have purchased this now multiple times. We really, really like this, um, and it's delicious, and I just love I love the whole brand and company and they're great so I bought those two for his basket as well kind of all over the place but some good things you know a good nice cozy drink to warm you up like whiskey a nice cozy some sockies and outfit and then coffee and a mug to keep you warm but also if you're feeling real bored some little tweezers to pluck your ear hair and your nose hair <laughs> All right, last but not least, I'm gonna share with you guys what I got the girls' teachers. Um, I got all of these little baggies from Walmart for like less than a dollar or something, maybe a dollar or something, I don't know, but they were really cute. Um, Ollie has two teachers this year, Eleanor still has one. Eleanor got Ollie's first grade teacher, who we love, so I'm gonna share with you guys what I got her, because I already packed her little baggie. But I got each of her teachers a pair of cozy little socks. They're not necessarily like Halloween themed, um, but just cozy, a little black and white. I mean, these still scream fall to me. I love these, these are from a new day. I gift these all the time. They're super inexpensive, but they're just cozy and warm, and they just feel luxurious. Um, she loves Dove Dark Chocolate, so Dove Dark Chocolate makes little pumpkins. So I got her a bag of these because I just thought they were too cute. I also picked her up this same candle. Okay, so it's Pumpkin Woods. She has her thing. I don't know where, where my mom's is. Um, but yes, so it's Pumpkin Woods is the scent. It smells incredible. I love it. Um, it's like smoky and like bonfire-y, but sweet and cinnamon underneath. I really like it a lot, so hopefully she does too. But it's also just a cute little decoration. So that is hers. And then I also found really adorable little mugs from Walmart. And I just thought they were super cute for iced coffee, for tea, for drinks, and what have you at school um, or at home. I love the little like canned glasses like this. This came with a lid and a silicone straw. These were so inexpensive. I mean, super, super cheap. And they're color changing. And they color change, I guess, with iced beverages. But they're just cute little ghosts. I just thought that was so cute. So I'm putting those in there as well. And I just. I don't know, I think hers turned out so cute. I'm so excited to give it to her. All right, for Olive's teachers, um, for her main homeroom teacher, she loves everything that's like really girly and pastels, just like Ollie. So um, I got both of her teachers, these like kind of marbly, almost zebra, <laughs> but like marble socks. Still kind of like fun and Halloween-y, but not overly Halloween-y and really soft again. Same thing, a new day. I also got her some of these Haribo um, little gummy bears. Uh, same ones as Ollie, these are the sour vampire bats. I think I'm also gonna give her some of the Welch's fruit snacks because she loves those. And then I got both of them um, some of the ghost earrings. So these are the same ones that Eleanor had, the little iridescent ghosts with hearts on it. So I got her a pack of those. And then she is also getting a little ghost glass to go in her bag as well. And then same thing for her other teacher. She is having the same cozy sockies, the same little ghost earrings, and then the ghost mug. And now I'm just waiting to hear back from her about her snack because she hasn't told me what snack she likes. But other than that, I got these um, pack of little blank Happy Halloween cards that come with a pack of stickers. Um, and then I bought a ton of, like I said, Halloween stickers um, that I'm putting in little individual packs so that they can hand out to the kids for, I mean, like I said, kids love 
kids love the stickers so they can use these as rewards and prizes or just give them out on a fun day and so I just have a bunch of different Halloween themed stickers that I'm gonna put in each um, bag so they can hand out to the kids for rewards and special treats that is it I am sorry this is all over the board you know friends it is such as life but I hope that I still give you some ideas and some things to bounce off of. I hope I gave you some ideas and if you're looking to have some festive boo buckets with your loved ones or the friends and family or teachers or um, acquaintances in your life that you want to support and encourage, I hope I gave you some ideas. Welcome and happy October and spooky season. I hope this season gives you all the most comfiest and coziest and most fun spooks and that you guys have a wonderful Halloween um, and beginning of holiday season. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.